Life moves pretty fast. If you don't pay attention, you'll get left behind with these fools. But chin up, there's always the ninjas and their powerful how-to knowledge to sort you out. This is Wu Hao, the ninja guide to pretty much everything. The future is now. Technology is everywhere. Computers have even started to take over the human race. But ninjas have remained true to the code of their how-to knowledge. Wu Hao. And now for a little bit of magic. Free your mind from the computer's control. Embrace the Wu Hao wisdom. This is Grey Ninja, the technical wizard. In his massive brain is information from around the World Wide Web, and then some. He will lead you through the barren digital landscape so you can harness the power of the nerd tech too. Coming up, how to make your own interactive whiteboard, how to make any gloves work with your smartphone, and how to repair a scratched CD or DVD. But first, let's head to Hollywood. You will need a digital camera, a solid tripod, some plasticine and a model set, a couple of desk lamps, some table clamps or gaffer tape, a computer with standard movie software, and a brain to come up with a genius Hollywood gold idea. Step one, get your idea down on paper. Struggling? Seek inspiration from Wu Hao. Step two, model your characters that you want to animate. Plasticine works because it can be secured to the base of your scene. Step three, make your backdrop with whatever you can find. Use clamps or tape to make sure it's secure. Step four, add some artificial lighting. What's that, Grey Ninja? Use some baking paper to diffuse the light, you tricksy ninja. Step five, set up your camera on the tripod. Stick down the legs with gaffer tape. Step six, stick in manual mode and get an exposure and focus that you're happy with. Fire off a few test shots and away you go. Review your film afterwards by flicking through your shots in preview mode. Next, the computer bit. You need to stitch your shots together to make a movie file. You can do this with any bundled movie software with your computer. Then enjoy your masterpiece in all its animated glory. Be warned, not everyone will appreciate you bringing their story to the small screen. Wuhao will keep you up to date with the latest in technical innovations in the modern world. Like this. Whoa! What's that I hear you say? It's an interactive whiteboard like you see in classrooms and conference rooms. Kind of like a giant touchscreen you can use to make presentations, but in your own home. Surely that's just some kind of evil voodoo magic. <laughs> but it's not. It's Wuhao know-how from Tech Ninja. You will need a Wii Remote, a laptop with Bluetooth, a digital projector, an infrared pen. You can get these on the web for about a tenner. Step one, set up your laptop and projector pointing at a white wall. Using the remote's guard, stand the remote on top of the projector. Step two, open and download the software from here. If you've got a Mac, download it from here. Step three, check that the game's controller is on. Now connect your laptop to the controller via Bluetooth. Check your Bluetooth settings to confirm that it's picked up. Step 4. Load the software and press 1 and 2 together on the remote. Then click the calibrate button and four points will appear on your projector. With your IR pen, click them and they will tick. Make sure you don't block the signal. Now you're ready to use your whiteboard. But how does it work? The pen is sending a signal back to the remote which maps its position on the image. So we're talking serious nerd ninja. Now enjoy showing your new interactive whiteboard to all your tech ninja friends. Technology's great, but only when it works. Sometimes even ninjas have compatibility problems. So does Ailey. She finds it really annoying that she can't use her gloves with her touchscreen phone. Luckily, Grey Ninja has the ultimate techie solution. Your smartphone works by reading your body's natural electric current through your finger. Believe it or not, we carry a small electric charge. Enough with the science. You will need a pair of gloves, a needle and some scissors, one meter of conductive thread, you can get this on the web, a China Graph pencil, and some lip balm. Let's begin. Step one, work out where your finger and thumb touch the screen and mark with the pencil. Step two, thread your needle. Don't strain yourself, use the balm. Nice. Tie a knot in the end. Next, sew a few stitches so that you're making a small square six millimeters in diameter. Step three, turn the glove inside out and add a few more stitches inside to complete the contact. They don't have to be neat. And you're done! A. Lee gives you the ninja salute of tech wisdom and all things Wu Hao. 
When two or more ninjas get together, there's either a fight or a ninja man raga party. But there's nothing that upsets a ninja more than when his favorite bombastic raga CD is scratched. Let's fix it with a bit of woo-how and elbow grease. You will need liquid metal polish, some lint-free paper towels, some soapy water, some rubber gloves, a dishcloth, and your scratch CD or DVD. First, wash your CD gently in some soapy water. This cleans off any grime or grease. Then dry with a paper towel. Dab a small bit of the metal polish on a paper towel and start rubbing the scratch in a straight line from the inside to the outside. Don't rub around the disc, you could make the scratch worse. Roll up your sleeves, it may take a while. You'll be able to see the scratch gradually disappear. And that's it! Your CD should play again! On with the ninja party time! We must remember that it is still we who are the masters, and they the servants. For this and other ninja how-tos, check the BBC3 website.